Do you want to know what the best type of omega-3 is for your eye health and function? In this video, I'm going to let you know coming up. I'm Dr. Aaron Smith, practicing optometrist in the state of Utah, and in this channel, I go over the best tips and products to help your eyes see clearly and look good. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit that bell to be notified when new videos come out. So we do a lot of different things as eye care providers to help fix dry eye problems and to help alleviate the symptoms of dry eye disease that's chronic and widespread. We do treatments like intense pulse light or IPL, which collapses small vessels in the skin that bring in inflammatory mediators and cause inflammatory dry eye that choke out the oil glands in our eyelids called meibomian glands. We want those oil glands in our eyelids to be functioning properly. That oil that comes out of those meibomian glands or oil glands when we blink is responsible for coating the top of that fresh new layer of tear film, preventing our tears from instantly evaporating off our eye. If those oil glands are not functioning properly, the tears will evaporate faster, our blink rate will increase, and eventually we'll have severe dry eye symptoms. A lot of patients have meibomian gland dropout. We can image this with our special microscope technology that has infrared built right into it. In our clinic, our microscopes have built-in technology and infrared capability to image the oil glands and to be able to see if they are dropping out, if they are the normal length they should be, or if action needs to be taken. If we start to notice that the oil glands are going away, we take measures quickly to try to prevent the further loss of the oil glands in the eyelids. If they go away completely, this patient is on the road to severe dry eyes, especially later in life. We also treat dry eyes with punctal plugs, small little plugs that go in the little drain hole called the puncta that drains the tear from the eye to the nose. Punctal plugs are a great way to keep your natural tear on your eye longer. Another treatment is meibomian gland expression. Sometimes the oil in the oil glands is hardened and has a hard time coming out. If it's not coming out, it's not preventing the tear from evaporating. And so we'll do thermal expression using a technique where we heat up the eyelid from the front and the back at the same time to the exact melting point of the meibum, which is about 40 degrees Celsius. And then we give the eyelid a little squeeze and watch the oil just express itself out of the glands. This is a very important thing to have done sometimes on an annual basis depending on the severity of the meibomian gland loss. But if there's one supplement out there that moves the needle faster than others in terms of reducing the symptoms of annoying dry eye disease, it's omega-3 fatty acids, specifically the marine-based type. There's two types. There's the plant-based type of omega-3 that comes from flaxseed oil and walnuts, also called ALA. There's also the marine-based omega-3 called EPA and DHA that's found in foods like wild salmon, mackerel, shrimp, sardines, stuff like that. If you don't eat a ton of seafood, maybe you don't like it, or you're just not sure you're getting enough for proper eye health and function, you can get on fish oil. Every day I'm telling my patients to get on a fish oil supplement. But watch out, because some brands are better than others in terms of quality. I'll have a link below for my current favorite omega-3 fish oil supplement that you can start taking to start getting relief from your dry eye symptoms immediately. Again, if there's one thing that moves the needle fast in terms of relieving the symptoms of that annoying dry eye disease, it is in the form of fish oil supplement. You wanna get at least, in my opinion, 1,000 milligrams per day. Some people recommend up to 3,000. I think that's a little overkill. I think a minimum of 1,000 milligrams of fish oil supplement is gonna be good enough for you to get some good relief and better eye health and function. Take a second and smash a like button if you're liking the content or learning something new. Question of the day, do you eat seafood? And if so, what's your favorite type? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.